high-profile crime perpetrated by Lyndon Buxton. All the paperwork's in order. You got a complaint, take it up with Judge DeLuca. Excuse me. I promise you, sir, I will personally care for your foul. You have nothing to be concerned about. And when do I get them back? When the case is closed. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm just going to go cash my lottery ticket. Why are you following me? Well, I'm not following you exactly, Ray. I'm walking alongside you. You're not going to leave me alone on this, are you? On what? Look, Frazier, this isn't about she said this and I said that, okay? This is bigger than just who anted up. Ah, you mean on the issue of who's entitled to the money? This is payback time, Frazier. This is for the time she ratted me out for smoking a cigar in the basement with Gabe Lacanti, for the time she told Paul Griffiniano that I was a junior, and for the time she didn't show up at the academy for my graduation because she had to go see Donny Osmond at the Beacon. Okay, this isn't my victory, Frazier. This is cosmic justice. Ah. Huh. I see. No, you don't. I don't even know why I try. Buxley. Smashed my window. Chickens are gone. I don't care about the chickens. He smashed my window. Well, the chickens are gone, Ray. Well, good riddance to the chickens. I didn't like them anyway. Ah, it's okay, baby. It's not personal. The guy just had a deep desire to get to his chickens. Well, the chickens were his life, Ray. It's understandable he'd go to great lengths to retrieve them. There's no excuse for one man damaging another man's fine vintage automobile over a couple of oven roasters. Oh, that's disgusting. What are you doing? Well, <clears throat> he's written something on this. Look. Raptors plus three, Timberwolves minus two, Kings, Clippers plus eight. Yeah, those are basketball teams, and this is a betting sheet. You see, those are the teams he thinks are going to win, and that's the point spread. Oh, but this guy's a chump. Who would take the Clippers even with points? Well, perhaps a man who's more efficient at farming than he is a gambler. Where are we going? We're going to visit a family friend. What do you mean the cops took the chickens? Those are the birds that lay the golden eggs. Without them, all I got is a couple of broken down buildings and a worthless piece of land. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Sorry, don't cut it. I made a deal for Buxley's farm and everything on it. Without the chickens, all bets are off. Now get out of here. Fix it. The city too. Come on, let's forget about it, okay? You just gotta eat your food. I know, I know, I know. You're used to the best of food. I gave it to you all your life. Baby, I'm sorry, okay? Come on, you force yourself to eat it because it's nutritious, okay? You don't have to like it. Come. All right. All right, sweetheart. Evie, daddy's gonna get you your real food, okay? Now you take care of Evie, okay, Adam? I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna get you real food. My old man used to come here all the time. He'd tell my mother we'd go into the park, but we'd always end up here. So I never once saw him cut his hair. You didn't like to see his hair being cut? No, this is Bert Fox's plague. He's a bookie. He's been around forever. He knows this town inside and out. This is totally ridiculous. That canary can't see. The mouse is a ventriloquist. <laughs> hey, Bert, how you doing? 
Ray? Ray Vecchio, was that you? No, it's my ghost. Of course it's me, Bert. How you doing? I'd like you to meet a good friend of mine, Bert Benny, Benny Bert. Pleased to meet you. Hey, Ray, you grew up nice. <laughs> he used to be the softest kid I ever known. His old man would be listening to the radio, screaming for those nicks to run faster, and little Ray would be there in the corner, stuffing his face with crawlers, all chubby and Bert. bloated. Bert, I think that's a little more information than my friend needs to know. <laughs> What can I do you for, boys? Well, we have misplaced some extremely important chickens. And we believe that information about whoever it is that laid these bets might help us locate them. Chickens. Chickens. Yeah, the guy's name is Lyndon Buxley. We got a hunch that maybe he's a squisher on somebody's book. Maybe you make a few calls for us? I don't have to, right? A loser like Buxley, his story gets out. He got his line up over a hundred large with a fella. But everything worked out okay. Was a guy like him get a hundred grand? He didn't. His bookie wound up selling his market to some guy. The bookie got his money, life goes on. Thank you kindly for your help. Hey, mucho gusto. <laughs> Thanks, Lopper. Nice coat. Uh, listen, uh, one more thing. Did my old man ever win, even once? Ray, that would have spoiled his fun. <laughs> Thanks again, Bert. I don't know if this is the ideal place to talk business. It's a little dark. I can see everything I need to. I spoke to Constable Fraser. I think he might be ready to come around. Constable Fraser? I must admit, I'm a little surprised by your relationship with him. Yes, well, we both know I like to keep my personal life personal. Don't underestimate your potential, Meg. 